Joining me now, Republican Congressman Leonard Lance of New Jersey. Um, Congressman, are, are you confident uh, that, are you glad to see Bob Mueller named uh, to this position? I think it's a fine decision by the Deputy Attorney General, and I'm sure that Mr. Mueller will do an excellent job, Chris. Um, are you um, troubled by the reporting of what Comey apparently wrote in a memo about uh, the President of the United States asking him to essentially stop pursuing an investigation of his fired national security advisor? Uh, that's why I think we need to have uh, Director Comey come to Capitol Hill as soon as possible with open testimony, and I'm certainly willing to listen to that testimony, and obviously the American people deserve the testimony of would, Director Comey. If, if that were true, would that be obstruction of justice to your mind? Um, that's an open question. I, of course, would be a grand juror if there were such an action on the floor of the House. And so I don't want to prejudice myself at this time, but I certainly recognize that this is a serious matter. And, Chris, I take my responsibilities seriously. I was the first member of the House to suggest that Jeff Sessions should recuse himself in any matter regarding Russia. And uh, I'm pleased of the decision of the Deputy Attorney General, and I think it proves the point that the Deputy Attorney General is acting in the best interests of the American people. Do you think Jeff Sessions violated his own recusal by uh, uh, writing a memo affirming a decision to fire the man who was investigating the Russia connection? I, I think that that's possible, but that's why I think it was so important that this decision, this, the special counsel decision, be made So you by think it is possible that Jeff Sessions violated his own recusal in taking that action? I, that is possible, yes. Um, do you... Here, here's what I can't understand about the psychology of, of the members of, of the Republican Party on the Hill right now. You can't possibly know what's underneath all this. And it just seems like the downside exposure you all have is tremendous. It's almost boundless. Unless you're a thousand percent confident that nothing more is going to come out. Are you a thousand percent confident nothing more is going to come out? Uh, I, I, I am not, Chris. I want the entire facts and truth to come out. And Isn't that, that is why... terrifying? No, I don't think the truth is ever terrifying. And I think that we should get to the bottom of the whole situation. And, and that is why I think that this was an appropriate move by the Deputy Attorney General today. I also have confidence in the two intelligence committees. And, of course, you've just had uh, Senator Wyden, who is on the Intelligence Committee in the Senate, and I think that they are going about their work appropriately and in a bipartisan capacity. Um, there's a lot of talk on Capitol Hill from Republicans that we got to put this aside so we can get back to the health care bill, that we can get back to uh, a, a tax reform. Um, what do you make of that? Uh, I didn't vote for the health care bill on the floor of the House. I was one of 20 Republicans not to vote for it. Uh, I certainly hope that the Senate takes up this issue, but I, I suggest that the Senate move in a, in a different direction from what occurred in the House, and I know the Senate is working on that. And I was involved in a meeting today with the Secretary of the Treasury and uh, the economic advisor regarding a tax reform, but, but I think those issues will take some time, Chris, and certainly we should... Uh, be involved in this issue as well regarding the investigation. Final question is this. Um, there are people watching who, who say the two of the following things. One is, if Hillary Clinton had taken these same actions, the Republicans would already have drafted articles of impeachment. And number two, is there anything the president could do that would make Republicans in Congress essentially condemn him, rein him in, produce oversight? What do you say to those people? Um, I would not have uh, suggested articles of impeachment regarding uh, Secretary Clinton if, if she had engaged in uh, uh, the discharge of, of, of Mr. Comey. I, I certainly think we should get to the bottom of, of any issue. And then regarding the president, I support him when I agree with him, and, and I do not support him when I disagree with him, as, for example, I did on the health care legislation. Can you imagine, though, that's, a, that's a, a sort of substantive agreement on a piece of policy, a vote here or there. I think there's a more profound institutional and constitutional question, which is people are concerned that Congress provide the constitutional check on the president that may be necessary. And my question to you is, are you willing to do that? Certainly, I uh, am willing to be a check and balance on either of the other branches of government, including the executive branch, and, and uh, let the facts determine the future in that regard, Chris. All right, Congressman Leonard Lance, thank you for making time.
Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.